different uh, variations of myself. I think we all have these variations where, you know, maybe you're more uh, masculine sometimes or feminine sometimes or more um, around certain people you're nice, certain people you're not, you know, you act one way around your lover, another way around your friend. So I feel like we all put on different, you know, masks for different people. And um, I've identify sort of the nine variations of me from a very young age. Um, and I named them and sort of played with the idea of like, you know, um, e each one having like their own look and dress and things like that. And so uh, for the album, I sing different songs from the perspective of my different selves, you know. So, um, you know, sometimes, you know, a very happy person, you know, that's like a different part of me because I'm a very sad person. So I wanted to write from a different perspectives and different selves and, and uh, have the vocal performance and the lyrics sort of, you know, um, be true to that version of myself. The title of the record, The Book of Law, came from um, a joke um, that Justin Raisin had while we were recording the album because I had so many songs. We had probably 70 some odd productions, like fully mixed of all these songs. So we had all these hard drives and each one had chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, five, and six, like on these hard drives full of material and songs. And so he'd be like, okay, which chapter do you want to work on today? You know, um, so he's like, you're making a book here. So like, and he called, he had, his nickname for me is Law, which is like short for Lawrence. So he's like, it's the book of law. And so it was like kind of like a funny, that rang the most true. Because it's like I had worked on the record so long, it became like a diary of my life for two years. It starts off very sort of naked, and where I began the album, which was sort of descending into this like you know sort of madness, and hellish experience that I was going through emotionally in my personal life. Um, so I opened it with a song called "Descent," um, and then I ended with a song called "Being Afraid of Dying," because by the time I got to the end of the album, it's sort of like, I am afraid of nothing now. You know, it's like I lost all my fears. And, you know, I'm just sort of me, just being me. Yeah, I mean, I am a very visual person, so I think of music, uh, and art, and film, and everything. I feel like it's all one. You know, because I feel like, you know, you see a great painting, it influences a musical piece, you see a play, you know, it can influence like a great painting, you know, um, or you see a great film, uh, it gets your mind thinking of a story to write, you know, so uh, I am like a melting pot of different influences. Change, it was never